Brian McKinley. The reason I brought you to Dubai is because I had a really important question to ask you. Are you the love of my life. Will you marry me? Yes. Oh my god. Now, I don't know who should be embarrassed more, Jack Doherty for marrying an OnlyFans girl or McKenzie, Mc McKinley marrying Jack Doherty. It's both full of embarrassment. And if you're wondering and you've never seen two lesbians hug, this is exactly how it looked like. Now, before you go on and be like, oh my God, haha, you're spot on, Koosh. These two lesbians, they're both an embarrassment to each other. Where is your girlfriend? Jack Doherty got married. You're still single, sitting all day, beating your meat. What are you doing with your life? As a matter of fact, what are we doing with our life? I, I, don't, I don't know why I'm making this video. Just today, I've literally woke up. I've seen a lot of people getting married. I literally opened up my Instagram like to check what's up on people's stories. Wedding here, wedding in Beirut, wedding in Canada. People, why, why are people getting married all of a sudden? Is June the month of love? Literally, even Noor Stars, the biggest YouTuber in the Middle East, she got engaged like yesterday and the videos just came out today. Even now, when I opened X, the first thing I see Jack Doherty getting married. So I feel like it's been a while since I uh, shat on love. It's been a while since I uh, shit-talked uh, happy people. Because, you know... Until we're, until me and you were not happy, no one else is allowed to be happy. So today we're gonna go down the road of shitting on happy people who are in a relationship, and we're going to take a big juicy, girthy, little bit of like kebabi, like soft and hard at the same time, like for it to be a little bit wavy shit on happy people. Now, it's not one of those clickbait videos like Jack Doherty asks his girlfriend, oh, I'm going to marry my girlfriend. I'm going to d uh, break up with my girlfriend. This actually looks legit. I literally just met my girlfriend's dad today, and I'm going to ask him for permission to marry his daughter. All they've really seen of me is my crazy <coughs> live streams and the fact that I put their daughter in the hospital last week. I'm really nervous, and I'm not really sure how this is going to go, so like and subscribe for good luck. And when he was alone outside, I asked him this. Hello, Mr. Richardson. I got a question for you. What's that? Uh, can I marry your daughter? <laughs> for real? You just put her in the hospital last week. You think I'm going to support that? It was an accident. You're an accident. Jeez. Definitely not staged. Now, most of you are familiar with with Myron, the alpha, 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 capital A, alpha, full on alpha male. The guy who is very cool, chill, alpha male who every girl wants and he teach people how to pick up girls. Next is the cocky funny opener. This one takes a little bit more confidence, but you can walk up to the girl, I do this all the time myself, and say, hey, you're almost as cute as me. What's your name? And I'll hold out my hand and I'll smile. Now, this is the first thing I agree with them, which is very basic, which ever, anyone would say. He says, I say this in good faith because I don't want him to be used. Well, he's not only being used, he is also using the girls around them. So he's not actually being used. He's Jack Doherty is playing it smart, but maybe he got lost in the sauce during the process. But hopefully he does have a prenup. I hope he gets calls off. Okay, English, my friend. My English is my third language. I don't think it's yours. I hope he calls off his engagement or at least gets a prenup agreement. This girl isn't mentally stable and cried when I said there are two genders. Any girl that is willing to do sex work can be trusted or wifed up. Foolish move, Jack. Now, Myron is not aware that Jack Duherty himself, he is also posting spicy, spicy pictures and photos uh, that we covered a couple of months ago. He's also doing the same thing that she is doing, and he is playing it smart by using her as well. I think the whole relationship started as the whole like agreement with, between each other, and now it's become like kind of like love, or it's still all part of the plan. Now, if you marry an OnlyFans girl, it, it's your fault. It, it's your fault for being a donkey. I'm not going to say anything regarding that. But why is this OnlyFans all over these guys? Why are they? Why are these guys accepting these OnlyFans? Like, for example, Jinxie. For example, Jack Doherty. For example, Neon. These OF girls and these big streamers with a lot of money, they randomly cross paths 100%. They all have a romantic story where they were on their way to the library and they... they, they 
hit shoulders with like a, a millionaire streamer and then they both bent it over and they wanted to pick up books and their head heads bumped into each other and they both had a laugh they asked each other for coffee they went out and it was true love at first sight 100 this is how all of them met but these of girls especially when they go after these young millionaires like i'm talking young like 2021 20, as a person who had an experience being 2021 20, years old this is how guys are and i'm sure if you're a guy you will agree to this usually guys tend to fall in love and be very attached to a girl if she gives that gaga ga 12,000 double hand, she knows what she's doing. And she takes your soul out of your body. That is when a guy is going to be obsessed with this girl. And for an OF girl, it is most likely they, they have uh, mastered the gaga ga 12,000. So the guy gets lost in the sauce. This is why Jinxie has broke up like 12 times. But then he started like beating his meat. And he was like, it's not the same. And then he calls her back. And they just meet up. They keep breaking up. And Jinxie comes and cries. He's like, I miss her goggles. <sighs> and then Jinxie goes back with her. And then they break up. Then goes back with her. Now, if someone marries a girl whose her bio is new subs can see my bare titties for 75 percent off on normal prices check your first message from the message they deserve whatever bad thing comes into their life because god literally puts everything in front of them and tells them look your girlfriend is showing her milky for 75 percent off to all her new subscribers this is a sign what do you want to do about it and you decide to marry her <coughs> whatever bad thing happens you deserve it. Now, this is exactly how it's going to go. Once Jack becomes ir irrelevant, no one uh, watches him anymore and he's out of ideas. He's burnt out. He's, he's out of ideas from making people hate him so he can get views and make some money. He's going to grow a belly. He's going to be, uh, I don't know, 29, 30 years old. And what is going to happen to all the girls around him? Well, you're not relevant anymore. I'm going to run into a millionaire young streamer again. And we're going to bump shoulders. And it's going to be true love all over again for me. But honestly, in 2024, if anyone wants to get married, everyone needs to get a prenup. You, you can't trust. I've had the most angelic girlfriend ever. And then she turned out to be a demon. You never know people. You should I, I swear to God, even if I get married, I don't think for me in my like religion, in my tradition, you need to have like mehriya. What is a mehriya? Is like when you get married in case of divorce, you need to pay a certain amount of money. It is fixed from before. It is not like the US, you pay half and half. But usually people over here they have like three hundred thousand dollars, they have like five hundred thousand dollars in case of a divorce. Fuck that shit. The max of the, the max max I'm doing is ten thousand dollars in case of a divorce. You don't want it? Take care by. Why should this matter when we are in love? We're not thinking of a divorce. Why does it matter? We this is love. This is not about money. You want me for me, yeah? Prove it. Now there's nothing more I hate when a girl says, Yes, I will marry you. Then they start jumping up and down. She shows her ring, and then everyone is like, Ooh, in the comments. That purely makes me wanna puke. It wants me wanna finger my eye eyeballs until they, they I, I go blind. It's just truly disturbing to watch happy people getting married let me show you the video of noor stars who when she got married and i, I want to tell you something about this whole situation as well this i found this i find this extremely cringe i'm happy for them but this is extremely cringe I found a love. it's copyrighted so we're just gonna watch instead of just uh listening to it i'll try to sing for you uh -huh. For you. Like I've seen some good engagement video. I'm very happy for them. Okay. I'm, I'm not really happy for them. Fuck happy people. But at the same time, like, okay, it's their time. They're having fun. I probably would like the time I get married. Someone's going to hate on me for being happy. That's totally understandable. I'll definitely understand that person. But this whole thing, right? This whole thing on a video and then showing the ring. I mean, sure, this is part of like the influence of life. They need to show everyone that they got married and they're happy. They're like, look, guys, I am happy. 
we are we are we are very happy this kind of becomes like your part of lifestyle when it's a habit that anything happens especially as big as this oh my god this is gonna get a lot of likes i can't wait to share this news with everyone and i don't think there's anything wrong with sharing like an engagement video like this and filming this whole thing they want to share this news with everyone like this which is understandable but for me personally if they do this whole thing i just find it cringe literally if i get married this is how you're going to find out what's going on guys welcome back to another video for today's video oh yeah by the way i just got married anyways for today's video we're gonna talk about this guy who got stuck in a cave for a week and he had to eat his own shit and piss to survive it is just going to be the first five seconds in my video because when you film like an engagement like video this is an engagement video right i'm going to have one of my boys just filming it from like far away in like camouflage like just ca catching her reaction and that's something that you and your wife are going to cherish for the rest of your life wedding videos on the other hand wedding pictures are fine you can post those a lot of people do that i don't find that cringe but the whole proposal thing i, I, I don't know how i feel about it maybe like a picture of haha fuck you bitches i got married that would be like fun to post but the whole uh, maybe i'm just very salty because a lot of people are happy and getting married and i'm closing up to 30 very quick and I'm still single with a cat. Ugh. Anyways, just wanted to talk about happy people, how marriages ick me out, how happy people disgust me. And if you're happy in a relationship right now, fuck you. I'm happy for you. And uh, yeah, just wanted to talk about this and share this news that just make fun of you that Jack already got married and you're still single. Yeah, I thought that was a pretty good video. <laughs> Take care of yourself. I'll catch you at the next one.